Guys, this is a huge one. This is going to be one of the biggest videos I've done in a very, very long time. So I want you all to get this video up to 100 likes, guys. And I'll keep doing Disney videos. And I'll keep these coming every single day. I've got back into this game since the latest update. It's completely refreshed it, in my opinion. Guys, comment down below and let me know what you think of this latest update. I actually generally think it's one of the best updates that this game has had in a very, very very long time guys so you're asking me what are we doing today okay are you guys ready for this i have finally got enough shards to get someone someone's red skill and i'm hoping that in the long run this will help with a lot of things so i have got enough shard shards for zerg's red skill guys so that's what i'm going to do towards the end of the video guys so make sure you you watch this video all the way to the end because we are going to be getting zerg's red skill or just get to the end you know it, it's up to you right so i need to take a, like a general look at what's going on and get back into a decent flow here so i'm still getting all my really good stats and all my really good um, upgrades and stuff so Obviously, I do apologise yesterday, guys. Uh, it was a late upload of my Disney video. Um, but uh, I'm back to doing my normal my normal times here. So now I'm going to enter there, get the raids in. We're still on times two, which is nice. What I, what I didn't do, actually... Um, how long have we got this left? Two days. So tomorrow, guys, I'm going to go through both the ports again. Because a lot of you are asking me to do it on the hardest difficulty. So you could see me go through it. So I will do that. Um, I haven't done it on this one yet. But I'll do it now as well just with the same team so obviously it all saves over so i'm going to fight and just see if, if my normal team works because normally this team here is, is always has quite a solid run and kind of always just goes through without too much happening so let's see if we can basically get get through this yeah you basically build a team to keep zerg alive and that is it that's the only move i make is to just get a team which keeps Zerg alive. There you go, and we've got six of those. That's pretty ridiculous. And then I've just done it on the hardest mode again. So 1.6 million just from that. Obviously, that was double doubled because if you're, there's a, once again, there's a VIP level where it voids the ads. So you don't have to watch the ads and you get double drops and from the trials and ports, which is, which is quite important actually because, well, they're really decent drops and stuff. That's kind of one of the best things that happened when they did that update and said, you know, you could now, there's now loads of adverts in the game, which is probably the best way for them to make money because it doesn't seem like, you know, it, it doesn't seem like you're using money when you do this, if you know what I mean. So I got reality there, which I think is the conversion of I'm um, getting power up. So I'm, I'm rank 10 here. Let's just, let's just attack this guy in rank 5th and, and, see, and see what we can do. Right, let's have a look. Oh no. Joy's like heal the team. Come on. We've got a Peter Pan. Oh, that was so close. No, it wasn't. Randall was still alive, tucked behind Beast. That was close though. Okay, so now I think it's I think it's a good enough time, guys, to just jump in and um sort out let me get my player appreciation okay that's um that's a free unlock on donald duck guys um i'll leave that for now i'll, I'll claim that in the next video and then we can go over donald duck together <sighs> lovely now let's just get that claim now so we've got donald duck nice I should have 20 of those. I bought 20 yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that one was boosted. Yeah, cool. Lovely. Okay, so now let's get into Zerg. And I can finally get his red screen. I'm also, also pushing on getting his final badge down here. Um... Just obviously so I, so I can keep leveling him up and stuff, guys. 
and after using all my diamonds on stamina and getting back into that kind of role of things so I'm able to just keep getting endless XP basically oh seven more and then I'm going to work towards that and then that one's 143 so yeah that's what happened for a while okay guys here we go unparalleled power I'm about to unlock now what I'm very intrigued to find out with this move is if I get this what how do I upgrade the red skills how do the red skills work how does everything work guys I'm basically gonna find out by doing this because I've never unlocked a red skill before I've never used a red skill I've never looked into how the red skills work so this is gonna be the first time I've basically ever done this guys so it is, it is going to be interesting, and at the same time, it is going to be a little bit of a, a little bit nervous because I do not need each upgrade to cost shards and all of that, which you guys can probably expect will happen because of, you know you all know what this game's like. So, without further ado, guys, we're just going to get straight into this and push the plus button. <laughs> okay, so we have unlocked his red skill, guys. So, while Emperor Zerg is channeling Ion Blaster, he deals 50% more damage per shot. This damage increases with each shot up to a maximum of 300% until it's interrupted. This damage boost has a chance to fail, okay, it's like normal, against enemies on a, on a certain level. And what we've also got, guys, now, this is kind of the, the main point I like to bring into this. One of the most important things is if you look at that additional stat boost, guys, because what you're getting here is a phenomenal boost, like an absolutely unreal boost. He's got 40,000 more max HP. That is crazy amount. And then we've got 18,000 skill power, which is once again, a crazy amount. And then 16,000 damage per shot from Ion Blast. So, just so much more. So, my kind of concern is, is this going to stack up? How do I upgrade the skill? Let's take a look. So, I close out. So, to upgrade the red skill, it's not actually as bad as I was expecting. But obviously, even just having this skill at like level 1, guys, is phenomenal. Like, you, you're you not going to need to level it up, really, because you already have that stat boost. So, to level it up again, I need to obviously get more of those extra shards. So, with that, with that level being done, he's obviously going to be pretty well ridiculous now. So, what would be good is obviously to jump into a City Watch and go through, if I've got enough keys, which I don't know if I do, go through the hard mode again, because obviously it's not going to be, um, oh, I'm, I'm halfway through one here, yeah, because that's just one everyone died on, so I can go into my epic city watch here, and um, see if I can hire anyone good, I used Jack last time, I might hire, um, I'm going to hire someone's Peter Pan again, because he was really good last time. So if I get Zerg in, I take Sun off, put Beast on, take Gonzo off, put Peter Pan on, um, take Beast off, put Meg, I can keep my team going like that. Kind of the normal way I've been doing it. So let's just keep an, keep an eye on Zerg. Okay, so that worked pretty well. So last time I did this, Peter Pan basically carried the entire level for me. And what's also as important as I'm going through this, I'm going to also be getting shards for Bo Peep, as well as um, uh, Zerg. Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty mental. You can see the damage that that's, that's doing there. Okay, that's decent. So I want, I said, this has been the easiest kind of first three I've ever done. Like I said, Peter Pan is a really good character, so I, I have been quite lucky to... Um, for someone in my guild to have him on, on such a decent level. Like I said, it's always Gaston that just causes the issues. 
So it's it's really nice to have a charm character. So when Gaston does his jump move, he can just be charmed. So there we go. So now what I can do is upgrade the skill and basically see what it does. See um, how good it is upgraded. So I'm coming to here. Um, so level one, it doesn't really say what it's going to improve. Upgrade. That's cooler animation. Okay. That is that's still um, pretty cool there, guys. With the way all the upgrading works and the way it looks. Um, that is um, that is relatively decent. I quite like that. So we can close out of there. And I can upgrade it again. Can I? Or is it just glitch? Yeah, I can get it to level 3. Nice. Now I need another 10. So now I'm just going to be slowly, guys, just achieving that and pushing that skill up as high as I can. So let's do a couple more bat battles and then I'll round the video up with a fan art favourite, guys. So let's just see what these um, battles are basically. So, oh my god, that's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous, guys. Let's just keep going. That's absolutely insane, that red skill. So once again, we fall to the issue that um, Gaston is in the enemy team. Yeah, so this is always going to be an issue because Gaston dies immediately, but then he gets his invincibility on. So I'm going to I'm gonna drop off of Auto for a sec. I'm going to link up with Bo Peep again, but I'm going to wait a minute before I go mental of all the moves. Because what I need to do, as soon as Gaston jumps, is um, get the charm on like that. Yeah, so that's giving you a couple of seconds and basically wasting um, Gaston's move when he does his jump. So that's why, I'm, that's why it's very important to kind of save Meg's charm move for when you are actually able to get a decent hit in. So let, uh, let's do one more, guys. Um, Link, shoot, Zerg's move straight away, and then get the spin in. There you go. So let's just leave everyone attacking like that. Yeah. And, and then you're basically able to just get a max heal off of it. So that that's that region completed again. Will I get some? Yes, Bo Peep, Bo Peep. Yes, lovely. So it's also important that I get Bo Peep shards because I'm using her mainly. But let's get into fan art favorites, guys. Um, oh, I haven't, I haven't even opened it up today. How disgusting of me. Let's open it up and see what we got today, guys. So remember, guys, to make sure you are submitting your fan art, guys. I want to see what... Um... Okay, let's just have a look. Therm thermometer? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I like that. That's good. Gizmo Duck. Ooh, okay. Who's this? Randall, Randall and Gaston. Gaston. Level 89, so basic damage. So this is for Randall. When Randall becomes invisible after using screen selection, he dodges all the... What? That's pretty mental, to be honest with you. If, if he's going to keep, you know, dodging attacks and stuff. Yeah, that that's pretty mental, guys. Um, having, a, having a skill like that. It's kind of one of those ones I just always tell you guys to sort of focus on. Because of how good it will actually be. So yeah, that is a good skill. But anyway, guys, that's... I don't know, no, no, i got to take a look at this one before I end it. I don't know what to ma to make. I'll, what, I'll make what you want. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, just keep with the cats. Keep with the cats. Someone's on a mad build battle mobile there. They have him for 3 hours 20, fair play. Right guys, make sure you help me get to 100 likes, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one.